everyone and welcome to today's new video. So today I'm going to do something completely different. So as you can see I've got my craft station sat out here and I have this picture frame here that my mum got for me. Now as you can see it's silver and this yellow is masking tape so that I don't get paint onto the glass. So yes I'm going to paint the frame black and when I've finished I'm going to stick my War the War of the Worlds poster into it because uh, I really want to put that into a frame so let's get the first coat on then. So when I apply the paint onto the frame First coat, I'm not going to thin the paint with a touch of water. First coat is going to be straight from the bottle, which is this little thing I have here, which is Revals Black Paint Acrylic. Black 36302. Now I've got to build this model kit that you can see the instruction book for. But uh, yeah, I'm going to apply the first coat with no thin, uh, no thinning, adding water. So uh, let's see what the first coat looks like then. So that's the first coat finished. I'm now just going to leave it to dry for a minute or two. And then once it's completely dry, I then can apply the next coat paint on. And I should maybe get this covered, I don't know, maybe... Last time I did this, I did it with a brown frame. This one is silver, so this one could take a few more coats of paint. Um, last time I did it on a brown frame, it was three coats, so maybe uh, four or five, I think. Maybe. We'll see. Hope not. Hope it only goes on in a couple of coats. But, uh, yeah, just allowing this to, to just dry. And then once it's dry, I can apply the second coat. So I've just finished applying the second coat. And with the second coat, I applied it uh, with a little bit of water to help thin it. And, uh, yeah, it's gone on pretty well. There's a few little bits here and there that where it hasn't fully gone over, but... Once it's dry, a third coat will probably sort all these little little bits out, as you can see just here. And uh, But uh, yeah, so far, it's getting better. So I've now just finished applying the fourth coat of paint to the frame, and I'm just allowing it to dry. And uh, yeah, it's looking good. Obviously, I need to do the sides. I'm not sure if I'm going to bother doing the back, because... When it's on the wall, you're not really going to see the back. Uh, as long as I get the sides done and the front, I think I'm going to be okay with that. And then as for the little poster I've got, well, it doesn't actually fit. Um, I'll just show you a quick. So... It just... It just goes over by just a just a tad, so um, yeah, I'm gonna have to try and just trim it down just just a touch. Uh, maybe some of this white, the top and the uh, and the bottom, can uh, be trimmed down. But uh, as for the frame itself, the frame is looking good, and uh, I'd like to perhaps put some gloss varnish on on it, or no, maybe a matte a matte varnish just to help protect the paint but I currently don't have any because it's a little bit expensive you're looking at about nine pounds for a 250 milliliter bottle just to do a few little bits and it just seems a little bit too too much for me but uh, yeah I think it looks okay so far and I'm happy with it and here we have the finished frame with the poster inside. So I am really happy with 
how it looks. I mean, yeah, I would have liked to have put a, a varnish on the black just to protect the paint, but you know what? It is what it is, and I'm happy with it, and I think that War of the Worlds poster inside looks really good. So, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, so I really hope that you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give the video some big thumbs up. I hope we're giving you some ideas, and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. And as always, until next time, take care, stay safe, and thank you for watching.